This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCB Way you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, the spectrum analyzer displays the amplitude of signals as a function of frequency allowing engineers and technicians to visualize and analyze signal characteristics. In particular, the audio analyzer performs a visual presentation of an acoustic signal in the frequency domain where the frequency of the signal is displayed on the x-axis while the amplitude of a certain frequency is displayed on a y-axis. In several of my previous videos I have presented several different types of such uh, devices, but this time the FHT Arduino library is used for the first time. This library is several times faster than the commonly used FFT library, but at the expense of the speed, certain, certain loss of resolution and precision appear at the two ends of the audio range. However, in specific case, we do not have the, to develop a measuring instrument, but a simple gadget. We do not need extreme precision, we just have to turn on a handful of less in musical rhythm. By the way, the project has been submitted to the Arduino Project Hub by the user with the nickname Genux and is actually a rework of uh, Shyep's excellent spectrum analyzer project. I made minimal modifications to the hardware and code based on my ideas and equipments. The device is really simple to build and consists only of a few components. It is Arduino Nano MCU board. Next. 8 on 64 uh, color LED matrix with WS2812B addressable LEDs, two touch buttons, three resistors, and one capacitor. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Considering that it is very simple, the device works immediately without any previous settings. When starting the device, one of eight types of color modes appears on the left side and brightness intensity in eight steps on the right side. We can, uh, with the button... Next, let's test the frequency range that this analyzer covers. For this purpose, we will use a simple online tone generator.
as you can see the device covers entire hearing range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Such a large, large range device is excellent when it's used for a visual FFT analysis, but has one practical drawback when it comes to presenting music materials. Namely a large per percentage, perhaps 90% of this music signal is in the range up to 10 kHz and only a small part belongs to higher frequencies. This would practically mean that for the entire time uh, that the music signal is being emitted, the far right part of the analyzer would be inactive. Since, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is a visual decoration, decorative addition and not a precise measuring instrument, it is desirable to reduce the bandwidth by half, actually to 10 kHz. For this case I made some modification in the code, but it is also desirable to set a simple low-pass filter on the input. Let's test the range with an online tone generator and the input. The range is, in this case, the range is up to 10 kHz. Now the matrix will be completely filled and visually it looks much better.
As for the external appearance of the device, I tried to make a simple but still functional version made of PVC board and glass with a, thick, with a thickness of 4 mm. And finally a short conclusion, this is an extremely simple project intended for beginners but still visually very effective and can serve as a gadget on your desktop or as addition to an audio device. It can also be used as a simple school FFT spectrum analyzer instrument intended for educational purposes.